Alright guys, I brought you over to the lathe here. Um, this is that one block that I was over on the shaper getting the size. So, I went ahead and drilled these two holes. They are bigger holes than that, but I put a pile of hole in already real quick. And then also, um, scribed a line where this boss is supposed to be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this whole block down until there's a round here. And I think it's uh, one and a quarter. I'll have to verify on the dimensions. But then this gets cut all the way down to a quarter inch. So we have quite a bit of material. It has to come off. It's a half inch material. So this boss is going to stick out a half inch. All right, to give you an idea how I have it set up here is I went ahead and put a center punch in this block. And I use this piece here for this purpose usually only. Um, I have used it for other things, but I made it many years ago works great um, so whenever you spin it you can find the center of where that boss is going to be you might not be able to see the Dow indicator very much but and I keep bumping it but get it back set up here but you can see it's oh it looks like it's about 50 thousandths out maybe not quite 40 so but either way we'll get it centered up here and I find always work on one jaw at a time or one set I don't know if you can see that very well, but looks like I'm running about a half a foul, which to me that's good enough for what this is. Uh, it's actually even for the drawing, it's plenty good enough. So it's centered this way, where I need to get this boss cut in. But the other thing you need to make sure is how flat you're running. So we'll go ahead and remove all this, but then you put your dial indicator up on the front here and then check your face to make sure you're flat. And uh, I bumped it around before and it's, it's still flat. So we're just going to leave it there. Here, I'll put it up there. I don't know if I can get you. So I have it on the flat side and you can see it's it's there so we're uh, ready to start cutting here so we'll get everything get the cutter picked out here and uh, we'll start cutting so what I did real quick here was uh, I touched off and then I set my zero down here so I know where I'm at so um, we're ready to start. I, I need to go verify this dimension because I don't remember what it is. But uh, so we'll start here in a second. All right, I got everything set up here. Um, I'm not going to change this cutter, even though it's it's getting pretty bad. A lot of times when you have intermittent cuts, that's not good for carbide. So if it does chip it out, it chips it out. I'm not too worried about it. But um, so let's get started.
Okay, you can kind of see what's gonna what it's gonna look like. We need to uh, measure that. That dimension is supposed to be uh, 1.2, and we're 1.4 right now. So. And that's 1.231, so I'm going to set that as my stop, because then we'll clean that up later. <clears throat> and I'm taking relatively light passes here, purposely. Okay, we should be down to our final cut. Um, it should be 0.25 inches. And we're at 297, 299, you know, right around three. It's pretty warm too. So uh, we'll take maybe half of it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get everything mic'd. Yeah, I am exactly where I want to be. And this is uh, 20 thousandths, 30 thousandths over. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our 20 thousandths off of this. And then we'll uh, cut our final 10 off of this. And uh, that'll be it. It'll be done. Okay, we'll just cut our uh, 
final numbers here and we're good to go. dead on and it says 1.202 so uh, it's done Oop, I bumped the camera sorry about that the only thing we'll put in is we'll deburr this edge here real quick since we're all set up Okay, so there you go. That was the plan is uh, to make it that way. It turned out good. And there you go, there's the basically the finished part. Uh, the only thing I gotta do is drill these holes a little bit bigger and deburr it. But otherwise this part's pretty much done. But kind of simple. But there you go.